Hey guys and welcome to Farm Simulator 2015 on Sandy Bay. So, Thursday. Very grey Thursday. Wow, look at the stormy clouds. Plane breaking through. Interesting. So what are we doing today? Well, last night I played for a little bit harvesting field 20, so we are going to get cracking on that again. Quite the uh, run over the winrows. So you can see, I was just going straight up and down. I was using GPS. Uh, well, I tried to use GPS on this side. Are those beacons glitching now? Yeah, they are. I've never seen that before on this. Interesting. And apparently it's full. Uh, so in doing that, to get an arrow straight line, we had to miss a huge chunk. And yeah, it kind of didn't go to plan by any means. So we'll have that warming up there and we'll go through that. And head over to the 80, uh, 8530. So you guys may remember previous videos I put in the gearbox mod and I've taken it so all the stuff is off the controller now I'm glad to say because that was starting to get pretty irritating now the only annoying thing right now is still the spacebar is IC control for the tractor and it is the shuttle control for the Gearbox. It's something that I would like to disable on the gearbox, the shuttle control, so it wouldn't work like that, but I don't think you can with it. So we'll just roll over to the combine there. Not too worried about going through the crop there, a little bit. This video, I don't want to be all harvesting, but I can see a large portion, portion, large, large portion, maybe harvesting. I don't know. Large portion should will probably be harvesting. I'm not sure yet. Is what I meant to say. Put on the parking brake. We'll leave it running. Jump into the combine and. Away we go, a balloon on cloudy weather. Hmm, not that uh, clever. So I was just watching. Didn't I start that? Strange. I was just watching a bit of Silver TV's video for Thornton. And I must say, I really, really cannot wait for that map to come out. I am uh, patiently, not so patiently, waiting, to say the least. It looks an amazing map, it really does. There we go, I need to dial that back. Harvest them before the rain comes in, because those clouds, especially over there, are looking pretty darn dark. I have got the haze mod in uh, that removes it. Looks like we're still showing up a lot of haze. It's interesting. So I feel it's going to miss a chunk there. Yeah, it is. We'll have to come back and grab that. Because what I'm probably going to do is run auto combine on the field, to be honest, and see what else needs to be done. But the problem is, I don't think there's a lot that needs to be done. I do want to say a massive thank you to the guys that stopped by on Tuesday for the live stream. We did some car mechanic and I plan to do some time you're watching this. Plan to have done some yesterday. It went really well. We had around 40 plus people in there and I think we peaked around 50,000. 50,000, I wish, no. 50, 50 uh, people. Don't know why I say 1,000. Actually, I, I wouldn't want 50,000 people in there. That would be. Yeah, not that great. But it, it did surprisingly well. Uh, car Mechanic, the performance up DLC, new DLC that came out for it. Definitely impressed. It's quite a bit of fun. 
I was extremely surprised the amount of people that st come and stayed and watched and whatnot. I think the time worked a lot better than what I was doing uh, for the weeks or for the week stream. I started at around seven, I think it was seven till around eight thirty. I did it. And it worked out pretty good. So I'm, we will probably end up doing that again. Previously, so this morning, if you guys watched, you would have seen the previous stream, Car Mechanic. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm definitely going to be doing it. Another Car Mechanic stream. I really enjoyed it. And didn't have many people complaining about the fact I was doing Car Mechanic. That was extremely nice. It was a relief. Usually, if you're playing a game and they don't want to see, oh, play another game. Can you play Farm Sim? There wasn't any of that. And I'm thankful. Really thankful. So, thank you, everyone. So we're going to get to the top of this rail, we'll spin around and get all the combine on it. It's a nice level, so it should follow the line pretty darn good. And not cause too many issues. And then we can grain cart and do whatever stuff. The gearbox mod, now we've got most of the controls off the controller. It's actually really cool. The 6810 has got the different ranges you can use. Uh, the, that's got just the gears, the shuttles for the power shift. I like it. Um, yeah, it's one of the mods that I probably should have put in for a while. It only works on certain tractors, though. For the most part, a lot of them, I feel, are probably just going to be that high-low CVT generic. The Fence have their own CVT. Some of the Bullet Bills, John Deere's, a CVT. But he's also done the script for that. You're supposed to use that mod with them, I believe. And he's got ranges, I think, on some of them. On some of the smaller ones. So it's pretty neat. Bump up the speed a little bit. I don't mind getting the warning that we're pushing it a little too hard. As long as we're not actually overloading it. And by the sounds of it, we're going to have to pause up the top there anyway. And get all the combine go. We may not even make it all the way up. I don't think we will, actually. Definitely an amazing yield from this field. This time around, really surprising. I think next time we may, we may go all out and plant sunflowers, maybe something along those lines. I don't know. Really don't know yet what we want to plant in this field next. We shall see. I are we? No, we're not going to get to the end. Son of a! Hey, almost drove into the field. So tab through the rest of the machines, where are you? There you are. I can break. Now I had someone comment on Tuesday's video saying if you had a steering wheel, you'd your videos would be better. That kind of didn't bug me per se, but I, I was like, I was thinking to myself, how would having a steering wheel make the videos better? Uh, it's not like it's a keyboard where it snap, snap, snap. It's it's gradual turn still. I don't know. I uh, just don't get the logic on that one. I truly don't. And the turning may be more accurate. Uh, that's a given. But, yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss with that one. So let me know your input on that, guys. Kind of curious. How how do you think a steering wheel would make a video better? Because you can still do gradual turns and hold a gradual turn. Just like you would a, a uh, wheel. And a keyboard. Like, you can tell it's a keyboard when you like that. I don't know. Really don't know on that one. Uh, we feel almost, yeah. We'll have to definitely drop the... Take a load of grain and kind of duck under. Yes, we can. Nope. In we go. 
If I figure out how, I'm probably going to change the key combine to that tractor for the IC. I don't know how I can do that. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you know how. Or Serious Gaming, if you happen to watch, and watch this, let me know. Because these tractors have got on the dedicated server, and I don't really want to go into the XML files and change it there. Just because you know it's going to turn around and say, Hey, you haven't got the same mod. Mode cool. Takes a while to kick into gear, it seems. I don't know why, but it definitely seems like that. Alrighty, so we're going to get rid of the GPS. We're going to pull up auto combine. Distance keeper on. Turn mode reverse. And I think we should be good. That is on. Drive in and see if it works. Should do. At least the line is arrow straight using GPS. So it should be good, I feel. And we'll put it about 4 mile an hour so it's roughly a similar speed to what I was running. And then we can do a bit of grain carding. I love the sound of it changing gear, that's pretty neat. Uh, I believe it's that key to put it down there, cool, yep. And away we go. It gets very quiet all of a sudden. It's interesting the way it changed so much. That's the point, I wonder how the beef cows are doing with TMR. It says it's got 640 up there, I've not actually... ...done any work with the fattening animals for a while. Maybe that's what this video could be dedicated to. Go over and check. Now I did try the fence last night on this trailer and it definitely improved it a little bit but it still slowed down. I think the John Deere, admittedly some people may not like the fact I use the John Deere all the time for carting now, for green carting, but it's just the more powerful tractor that I've got on the farm and it co I find it copes better, I feel like it copes better anyway the gearbox mod definitely makes the machine slow down a lot more slower pace and everything but it's, it's cool it would do it in real life no doubt dropping down through the gears and whatnot. right over to this lane. Got no traffic in there, that's cool. Sometimes it can be a little pinch point. And because we are loaded and it's not as fast, I don't think we should catch up to the car. Wow, how slow do these cars go? That must mean they go like 24 mile an hour. Dang, I don't think it was that slow. Definitely should be past it now after overtaking that. So as for Thursday, I'm pretty sure... Well, as for today, actually, <laughs> when you guys were watching this, pretty sure I'm going to head over to my dad's on Thursday. I need to message him, see what he's up to first, obviously. So there may not be a stream on Thursday. If there is, it'll be a later one. Probably in whatever time I get back and everything set up. And what it will be on, I don't know. Definitely goes down the box coming up this hill. Can't remember if it used to do it.
What I may do is start a follow me train in a minute. Uh, we'll see. Combine's probably going to be full. Uh, it's just almost full in time we've got here, so really we could probably do with another machine down there. Is C. We've got everything ready for the feed and the fattening of the fattening animals. For whatever reason, it does this, and it acts like it shuts down the mod. Um, yeah, I'll see if I've got everything ready, and probably get them to follow me all the way down. As I dump, and we'll go check it out. I got silage down there, the only thing I need to put in there is a couple of hay bales. And then we should be golden, I could. Oh yes, uh, you need servicing. I know, I know. Okay, cool, that gearbox mod does save after you. Switch it off on the machine, cool. So we'll jump in this. We'll get the tractor on follow me on the telehandler. Come on, kick into life. Should be fine. Then we'll get that loaded up with hay bales. And then we'll take this and that up to Willow Farm as a train kind of deal. Oh, back her up. Hopefully, you guys are seeing what I'm planning on doing. Take the 8530 to the field 20. These two will then I'll take them up to Willow. And we should be good to go. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I don't know if it's gonna work the way I want it to. That is another thing. Jump on that. Get the tractor turned around. The reason I drove it through is because I don't want to deal with the sh uh, shuttle control right there. All things being equal, this will be the lead vehicle. Hopefully that'll be okay there, should be. And then we'll load up the theater wagon. Should be on follow me, yep. It can come up here and cut in tight there. Perfect. Now we'll probably be able to turn around in that gap, I would have thought. Grab two hay bales. We do have silage down there, so I'll be quickly swapping out the bale fork for the bucket. I've actually got quite a lot of silage down there, that's where I originally did the silage in field 2. Cool, that went 
look pretty nice. Of course, we've still got the service reminder there. That's funny, it's like I discussed in the video on Tuesday? Monday? I can't remember now. I like mods that do this. That have like service things. It just adds a bit more realism to it. So I feel the game could definitely do with his maintenance. But I'm um, into that stuff on mechanics, so. Well, a qualified mechanic. My job is YouTube, but I'm a qualified mechanic. Funny how that all works. Get asked that question a lot. What's your job? This is my job, guys. It's definitely my job. People that run YouTube video or run YouTube channels and really come on now, I run uh, YouTube channels and have a day job. I'll just use Bill as an example. Kudos, because YouTube, as he knows and he's talked about in his last video, definitely is it's a hobby for him, but it turns into a job. It really does. So it's should have had that track from following me then actually. They do not see the trailers there. For whatever reason they don't. Uh, wait, resume. How do you change the offset? Right control. Oh, that'll probably be better. Twenty percent or twenty? I don't know. I've never never played it with any of that stuff. And he, yeah, like I said, he definitely touched on that in yesterday's video. So if you didn't see Bill's video from yesterday, I recommend you you give him that a watch. I get quite a few people asking in my streams, when are you and Bill going to do a live stream together? Stuff like that. The guy's busy, guys. And Bill, me and Bill have not played a game together for a very, very long time. Let alone speak to him on TeamSpeak. That's a rarity in itself, so. Chance of getting him pinned down in one spot long enough to do a stream. And of course, when I stream, he's working his real day job, so. Gotta bear that one in mind too. Alright, that's following that. So that's gonna be 10 on that, 20 on that, on this, and I'm driving this. So let's see if it works. Oh, perfect. Oh, there's no traffic here as well. Cool. That is so cool. That really is. I like stuff like that. It looks neat. Now you know what that meant, guys. There's our screenshot for today's video. Now the two machines behind us are probably about the same sort of speed. So they should do okay. Wish this tractor, the only thing I would say I could improve on this tractor, if I could imp improve on this, or what I would do, make it so you can adjust the mirror so you can actually see. They need to be angled up more so I can see back there. Like that angling on that one's poor and that left one is just ridiculous. Oh, they're pretty much useless. Have I, I haven't got past the field yet, have I? Nope. I have a tendency to do that. Looks like we've got an oncoming vehicle. Do we? No. Cool. If we do, I'll have to tuck further in so those two machines back there tuck further in. 
let off here just in case we've got a red light. They will wait at the red light. And we do. I bet that's going to hit into us. No, it did stop. Awesome. Cool. Green light. No vehicles waiting. Sweet. They got all through okay, I guess. Yep. So what I'm gonna do here is just stop there. So I do want to see is if I put my hazards on on this tractor. Do they put theirs on? Doesn't look like it. But I had a mod in that made them. Hazards actually, yeah, uh, stay on. Uh, control F to follow me off of this machine, so this can go into the field and go empty the combine. We'll need to put the combine on stand, and I think it's probably going to be angled into the field too. I've got a horrible suspicion it is. Yes, it is. How did I guess? Watching a harvest video is probably boring for you guys, so I'll probably leave that be. I'm, I'm hoping that's still following me. Yes, it is. Cool. Now that old tractor is pretty slow, and I think come in. I don't think. Cool. Nope. See, I'm not sure if we've got any hay bales up here. I really hope we do, but I don't think we do. You can see me having to take a quick run back. Nice maize field there for us. Or corn field, shall I say? Got plenty of silage, don't be planning on doing any more anytime soon on Sandy Bay. I do see a few questions now and again, am I going to be doing any more silage? And definitely not for the time being on Sandy Bay. Nasewell, I don't know, I'm still in two minds what to do on there. I think I'm just going to go with the Chrono Ultima. Oh, Wally, why are you that far back? What happened to you? Now wait here and wait for that to catch up just in case. Get any oncoming traffic and yeah we would have. What if it got stuck on something? I thought I was pretty good position on the road. I guess because that's a wider vehicle, I probably should have used that more than this. Hey, live and learn though. Uh, definitely doom and gloom in the yard here. Haven't mucked these guys out at all, so they need mucking out too. Not sure where the manure goes. We'll find it. Yeah, you can stay there. Take the full of me off of you. So as you can see, we got... Jeez, how full is this? I forget how full this bunk is. 85%. We actually... That was from the first harvest we did in Field 2 when we bought that. So it's been a, in there for a long time. Definitely a good amount of silage. If we had one more field, that would have filled that. Um, I reckon th field three would fill one of these easily. With the money we've got, I, I think once I do end up finishing on Sandy Bay on camera, anyway, I'll probably continue to play this map. It's definitely one of my favourites right now. Uh, Thornton, 
we'll have to see about. It looks promising. Definitely looks promising. Whether I can turn around and say, yes, yeah, it's going to be a new favourite. I don't know yet. That's probably going to be that full, does it say? 94%. What's the mix day? Mixing ratio like? Uh, uh -huh, I've got to be careful. Probably could have done without a little bit more hay. But should be okay if I put a little bit more silage in. Definitely doesn't need to be a full scoop. Almost a full scoop. But we won't need it. So yeah, we are gonna need to ferry some more straw bales, straw bales, hay bales up here. Kind of hoped we actually already had some. Is that full? So yeah, we didn't really need much in there at all. So what I'll do is I'll dump this back. See what needs feeding first which is lower. And that's through this. So with the beef we have 43 that are ready to slaughter. Mixed rations are down to 622. Mix for the pigs are 2971 and we have 56 for slaughter. Cool. Well, you're getting there. They're good on well, they're pretty full of manure, slurry, 6,000 apiece. Straw, they're pretty good shape too, and water, it's both in good shape. As for silage, it doesn't matter, particularly because we're using mixed rations for that. And we've got plenty of sugar beets and whatnot in there. So it's the beef that cows that needed it more, we'll muck him out while we're here. I believe the uh, thing for the beef are over there somewhere. Oh, what happened there? I bet that's what happened to it when it was on Follow Me, it got hung up somewhere. I really don't get why it makes that noise. I think it's because I've got the modern where it will raise the RPMs when it's tipping. I think it's a little conflict that goes on. That's a shame, so we're probably going to have to remove that mod and remove that from the dedicated or whatever. Or just live with it. Doesn't make for a good video. It cut out like that, though. The curiosity, if I start this back up, without the more of the gearbox mod running, will it do it? No it doesn't, there you go, that's probably what it is then. At least we know what the cause is, and both of them are full well. And we've got some mixed rations to take back down to the cows, perfect. Couldn't have hoped that one any better. So I think I know the title of this video. We got a a convoy. And a little nod at Smokey and the Bandit there. Awesome movie if you guys have not seen it. Any any of you younger guys that have not seen it, good movie for sure. I'll jump into that. Hey, at least it didn't scream at me for needing uh, service, and that is nice. Does it actually have a service engine soon? Like, ah, it doesn't. Wondered if it will or would have. Wow, that didn't take long to fill up. Maybe here a little while. Emptying this. Now I've got to find where the dump point is for it. I think it's around here. Okay, it's not there. Where is it? I 
Huh, where is that? On here, maybe, is it? I doubt it. I wonder if it's in here. There is a space. There's some flowers there, and... I bet you. I bet you. Not unless he's supposed to load it into a trailer and cart it down to the dairy. But I wouldn't be opposed to doing it. I'd have to come back up with a trailer, mind you. That may be okay for the next video. But we shall see. And we'll call it quits here. Nope, didn't think it would be. Well, I'm probably missing where it is, so I'll check that out in the next... Well, before the next video, of course we are. Doing Sandy Bay, Thursday and Friday. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time for another Sandy Bay video. See ya.